it's getting more and more difficult to get around this city. The roads are dotted with checkpoints. Random car searches are common. And every day, there's a show of force from police. The national police is um, continuing to keep peace and security using many, many strategies and uh, measures in order to stop or, uh, most of the criminality. Life here in Bujumbura is about to get a lot more intense. President Pierre Nkurunzinza has given who he calls criminals and terrorists until Saturday to hand over their weapons. If they do, they'll be given amnesty and the education. If they don't, there'll be zero tolerance. We are giving you another additional five days for you people to think twice, to, to really feel that holding a, a weapon illegally, it is harmful to, to the society, it is harmful to the security of the country, it is harmful to yourself, it, is harm, it can be harmful to your own future. So my call would be for people who are holding these weapons to heed the call made by the president. More than 200 people have been killed in months of violence, sparked by Nkurunzinza's decision to seek a third term. The African Union is so worried, it's asked a regional military task force to prepare to come in. The presidency, though, says it can restore order. President Pierre Nkurunzinza has made it very clear that security agents can use every means possible and the powers within their mandate to ensure that security is restored, especially here in the capital, Bujumbura. And police officers are not taking any chances. The weapons detection system will be used and the police will be given uh, all the means at their disposal to do the, dis the disarmament by force. Already, international observers claim security forces are trumping basic rights in Burundi. AU monitors also are concerned, but the government says it cannot afford to take chances. Some of the people to whom it's offered amnesty have been targeting security forces in full-on gun battles, and they allegedly are well armed. Kofam Brenje, CCTV, Bujumbura, Burundi.